Today on ELN Morning. Rising up for a change, a group of faculty gather this morning to give a voice to their new movement. Break-ins over break, tips you need to know to keep your things safe when you head home. And the turkey that keeps on giving, we will show you how to transform those Thanksgiving leftovers. All that and more. ELN Morning starts right now. Good morning, Elon, and thanks for joining us this morning on Thursday, November 29th. I'm Brian Ray. And I'm Megan Lynn. We begin this morning with news of a faculty organized movement to unionize. A group of faculty members are fighting for job security, equal compensation, access to educational resources, and mentorship opportunities. Today, some of the faculty involved are joining together for their first public meeting at the Phi Beta Kappa Commons. Our Anton Delgado is following the story, and he joins us live. Anton, what can you tell us? Thanks, Megan. As you can see behind me, we're here at the Phi Beta Kappa Commons, where a crowd has gathered to witness the first Elon Faculty Forward public event on campus. I'm now joined by Professor Madeline Martin Seaver, who is a member of the organizational committee here. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Thanks for talking to us. Do you mind uh, giving us a little bit of background about why you decided to host the event today? So this event is to celebrate the work we've done this semester in forming the unit, uh, and to formally announce and publicly announce it to the university community as a whole. And what do you think of the turnout so far? I think it's been great. Yeah, it's really great. It's a coalition of people. We've got people from Duke. We've got people from the SCAO. We've got other members of NYU. And can you tell me a little bit about the breaking news that just happened a couple of minutes ago and what that means for a possible union? Yeah, so we have filed for a union election here at Elon, which is excellent. Um, it means that the process is really going forward. And why, did you, why do you think that the union on campus is really important for us to have? I think it's important for non tenure track faculty to have a voice with the administration and the institution. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us. I really appreciate it. Following this, this event, there will be the fact the crowd here will be walking to Powell Building where they will finish their event in front of the president's office. It will be followed by a couple more speeches by not only tenure track faculty members, but as well as other members that are part of the organization. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Anton. Based on available information, 41 faculty members joining the movement are from the College of Arts and Sciences, five from the School of Business, and three from the School of Communications. For more details on this story, visit our website, elonnewsnetwork.com. Elon police are still looking for the burglars involved with numerous break-ins over Thanksgiving break. Our Jack Norcross has details on how to secure your home for the upcoming holidays. Some students returned home to a surprise following the Thanksgiving break. According to the town of Elon Police Department, at least five homes were robbed, including three on Wooddale Drive. You never think it's going to happen here until it does. Kent Chance and his roommate Janik Advani's house was one of the homes broken into. They lost a TV, an Amazon Alexa, Bose speaker, and Apple TV. But now they are both on high alert after the incident. It was really a question, not of you know what we lost monetarily or financially. I think it was the peace of mind. I mean. I was hanging out in my room last night at 3 a.m. and I heard this shuffling and, uh, you know, my heart just leapt out of my chest like, oh God, are they back? And, you know, it's it it very scary stuff. It's like you're going into a different house, sort of. Like, you come in and you're like, okay, this is my house. Like, it's yeah. usually like, you know, we're college guys, so it's usually pretty dirty, but it's like, it's just like a different type of, like, dirt. You know what I mean? Two doors Nothing down from back. Chance and Edmani, Max Tannenbaum um, lost his 55-inch TV, whiskey, and his prescription medication. I mean, I wasn't upset. I wasn't, you know, I guess at a loss for words, anything like that. I was just very confused. Intruders entered Tannenbaum's home through an unlocked window. And with winter break just around the corner, police recommend locking all doors and windows and making sure blinds are fully drawn. Elon Town police were unable to speak on camera, but recommended using devices like smart lights to throw off intruders, making it seem like someone is home. Um, I'm not necessarily one to you know just run away from my house because something bad happened to it I mean obviously I'll take precautions like lock the doors at night um, but I'll definitely sleep with one eye open from here on out just given what happened yeah Jack Norcross ELN morning if you have any information or tips on this case you're encouraged to call the town of Elon police at 336-584-1301 
And before we go to break, we want to remind everyone that today marks two years since the death of President Emeritus Dr. Earl Danley. We reflect on his 70 years of service to the Elon community and his life as an educator. Thanksgiving may be over, but many of us are still feasting. Coming up after the break, we'll show you how to spice up those Turkey Day leftovers. After the break, I'll have your Phoenix five day forecast and guide to survive this winter weather. Brian, it is chilly out there today, oh, and sure. our Maeve Ashbrook is live on Centurion Plaza with the latest Phoenix five day forecast. Maeve, what can we expect? Good morning, Megan and Brian, and good morning to our Elon community. It has been a chilly start to the morning today, but I have your guide on how to survive this winter weather. My advice is to layer up, wear your short sleeve or long sleeve, a sweatshirt, and a winter jacket. Stick to pants, long pants, no dresses or skirts, and make sure you leave your dorm with a hat, ear warmers, and gloves. I find that my hands get cold first when I go from building to building. As far as the forecast, we should be seeing statically frigid temperatures for the next five days with a 30 to 40% chance of rain every single day. So pull out those hunter boots or other waterproof footwear. Not only will these protect you from the rain, but they will keep your feet warm as well. Luminaries is still scheduled for Tuesday, but in case of rain, we will not have to weather the storm. The event will be moved to Thursday, December 4th. That's all I have for you today. Megan and Brian, back to you. And with this cooler weather on the way and Thanksgiving behind us, we're officially in the holiday season. I cooked up a special recipe for turkey day leftovers. Take a look. Hey y'all, I'm here with my mom, Lori, and we're gonna be showing you a super cool way to use up your leftovers from Thanksgiving. Mom, what are we making today? Today we're making Thanksgiving roll-ups. All right, why don't you show me how it's done? What do we have here? Well, we have thinly sliced turkey. We, we're using turkey breast, but you could use either white or dark meat. The cranberry sauce, ours is out of a can, but if you wanted to use homemade, that would work too. And some leftover stuffing. What do we do with all this stuff? Well, we're gonna take, um, these refrigerated crescent rolls. Um, we're gonna, we're not gonna pre-bake them. We're gonna open them up, and we're just gonna put a little spoonful of each. The trickiest part of this whole recipe is opening this can. Bang it on the counter, and it pops it open. These require a little minor um, plastic surgery to make them look nice. Yeah. <laughs> when you pull them out of the they, can. They, are, they sometimes don't come out in perfect little triangles, so you just kind of patch them together. Probably the best way to go is starting is with the. Is to stack them. Well, yeah, have them, but yeah, make sure it's okay. These look so good. They will be delicious, but to make them even more so, you, we have a little leftover gravy. I'm scared to roll these up. Okay, well, it's they're a little messy, so you're just really better off if you can start at one end. Well, we've let these cool for about 10 minutes, and that's about as long as we can wait. Now we're, dig into now we're gonna <laughs> dig into it. They're still gonna be a little warm, so be careful. <laughs> Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Not too bad. You should try these. We all enjoy. Thanks for watching. Thank you. While leftovers might be finishing up, the season of giving is still in full swing. We have our Amanda Gibson here to talk about easy ways we can all give back. Welcome, Amanda. Thanks, guys. Well, there are lots of places to donate to here in Alamance County, all over Burlington. You have Salvation Army, you have Crossroads Sexual Assault, and even Alamance Com County Community Service asking for non-perishable food and toy donations. But you can find all of this stuff in your dorm room, like all of this was from my dorm. So all these toiletries from past trips and then canned items, an old blanket, old clothes even too to donate because they are in such great need and it's such a great way to give back this holiday season. Absolutely. And it's really great at the end of the semester to think about what stuff aren't you using mm -hmm. and to be able to give that back. Yeah, yeah, clearing out your closet, clearing out your pantry before you head home. And if you're not coming back for J term, all great ways to give back. Great, thanks so much for being here, Amanda, and for those tips. Yeah. yeah, and our Rachel Ellis will have a special look at Salvation Army on our show Monday evening at 6 p.m., so be sure to tune in. Ari Urone drops a new music video tomorrow, but not before stopping by our set to perform. You won't want to miss it after the break. live in the studio with Ari Euron. Thanks for joining us. Thank you guys. What are you going to be singing today? I'm going to be singing a song that I wrote a while back called Come Back. 
and the music video will be out on Wednesday. Awesome, we awesome. can't wait to see it. And before we let you sing us out, we just want to thank you guys for joining us today. For all the news you need to know when we're not on the air, check out our website, elonnewsnetwork.com. Have a great day, Elon. Yari, take it away. Thank you. for her call This ain't the way my problems will get solved Looking for a way to land this fall And I should scream come back Come back to me Say come back or Don't you ever leave or Don't you ever leave I won't come back Come back to you Say come back Why'd I ever believe single turn But now I'm thinking damn she'll never learn but Mama said with her you'll crash and burn Tonight I'm trying not to waste my words on her And now she's screaming come back